at Love Memorial this year. I'm very proud of our staff and our students for all their hard work this past few months and coming back and jumping right in. They've done very well and I'm very proud of everyone. I'm excited about Valentine's Day next year because it is a celebration of love. Union Elementary has made me proud this past year, not only for our academics and learning, but for our caring hearts. From our Big Owl to Little Owl program to our Cans Giving, they make me proud to be an owl each day. Ethan, what are you looking forward to in 2023? I'm looking for our yearly, I'm looking for summer vacation, uh, visiting our out of town friends, and becoming a fifth grader here at Union. Holly Skybo from Childers Elementary and this is Ansley Gunner, a wonderful first grade student and we have a special message. I am so proud of our school and our teachers this year for how they have created great academic opportunities for our students while focusing on their social emotional awareness. Ansley, what are you excited for next year? I'm excited, I'm excited to read and learn a lot and that I get to do fun things with my friends and that um, we get to do some math. Hello everyone, I'm Allison Round, the principal at Lincoln to Middle School. I'm Reagan, I'm your service coordinator on student council for LMS. And I would like to share with you something that I am proud of uh, this past year. Really, just our students and staff have started this year with such a positive attitude. Everyone's working so hard. Our student attendance rate is up, discipline referral rate is down, and the staff, they're just continuing to work so hard to make sure our students get what they need. Reagan, what are you looking forward to for 2023, just a few weeks away? Something I'm excited for in 2023 is to finish out my eighth grade year here at LMS Strong and to start my freshman year at LHS and try out for the varsity cheer team. Go Wolves. Awesome. Go Wolves. But once a Wildcat, always a Wildcat. Yes, ma'am. All right. Have a good year. Hi, my name is Jennifer Carroll, and I'm the principal here at Northbrook Elementary School. This year, I'm so proud of how everyone just jumped right in. Teachers started planning rigorous instruction, and we've got high levels of student engagement. Hi, my name is Miss Wright. I'm the assistant principal here at Northbrook. I'm so proud of the dedication that both our staff and students have had this year in meeting their goals that they have set, and I can't wait to see what to, we have to look forward to 2023. Hello, my name is Aiden Atkins, and next year I look forward to learning more about geometry and historical events. And we hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. What I'm most proud about 2022 is how involved our students have become in everything here at school. Um, from their academics to dances, athletics, and uh, arts performances and giving back. It's just been exciting to see our kids um, become so involved. Sienna, what are you looking forward to for 2023? I think in 2023 what I'm looking most forward to is probably running on the new track. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Palmer. I'm the principal of Rock Springs Elementary and I'm here with Graylin Taylor. Graylin, how are you today? I'm doing really good. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. So, Mr. Palmer, I've been meaning to ask you, what have you accomplished in 2022, and what what were what did you do? Okay, so we are we've accomplished a couple things here at Rock Springs. Probably one of the biggest things is that we've had at least 14 new staff members this year, and with all those new people, we've accomplished a, a maintained a kind of our family atmosphere. And we have a bunch of hardworking people here that just came in and fit right in, and they were accepted right away. And I'm also proud of our students this year. We're adding students every day. We have 652 students right now. It's a lot, it's more than we've ever had. And they're still maintaining great attitudes and work ethic. Um, and I'm very proud of that for 2022. Now let me ask you, what is it you're looking forward to in 2023? I'm very sad that I'm going to be leaving Rock Springs, mm -hmm. but I'm really happy and I'm looking forward to making making new friends in my new school. Well, I'm sure you'll do that and we're gonna miss you. Graylin Taylor, a fifth grader, moving on to North Lincoln Middle School. We hope everyone has a safe and happy holiday. Mr. Carpenter, what are you most proud of from 2022? I'm very proud of the community involvement, Lincoln High School, uh, working with Christian Ministries of Lincoln County. Uh, our school brought in over 3,000 items of canned goods for uh, Christian Ministries. I'm very proud of that. And what have we accomplished this past school year? 
We have fully implemented our advanced teaching roles here at Lincolnton High School. And uh, these teachers work together and support each other and they support our students. Anna, what are you most looking forward to in 2023? I am most looking forward to running track to help me prepare for the next cross country season and getting involved in Beta Club to help out our community. Hi, I'm Dr. Kale Sane, the principal of School Technology. And I'm proud most in 2022 of our teachers who work day in and day out for our kids uh, and everything they do for our kids to make sure they're a success. And also our students who come to school every day uh, and, and experience the good things that we have to offer and took a risk to even come up here to the School of Technology and take our classes. So I'm proud of most of our students and staff. Nayeli? My name is Nayeli Tenero. I go to East Lincoln and I am really looking forward to graduating next year. My name is Ania Cooper. I go to Lansing High School. I'm looking forward to graduating, preparing for my career, and getting money. My name is Paige Smith, and I'm from North Lincoln High School. I'm looking forward to graduating I'm Lance Aker from West Lincoln High School. I'm most excited about graduating from Stony College. Thank you very much. Greetings from the home of the Mustangs. I am so proud of our student achievement and being the only high school in Lincoln County Schools to meet academic growth. I am so proud of our athletic teams and their success on and off the field, and especially our state champion football team. I'm proud of our teachers that work each and every day to meet the needs of all of our students, especially Ms. Fry, who is Lincoln County's first ever Regional Teacher of the Year. And I am so excited to see where every Mustang is going in 2023. I'm headed off to Boone to go to App State University. Every Mustang should be proud of where they're headed this fall, too. Hi, I'm Tracy Ely, Principal of Brown, and in 2022, there are many things that I'm proud of. The biggest thing that I'm proud of is how hard my teachers here at Battleground work. Every day they show up and they give 110% to teaching students and loving students and making a difference in the students' lives. And that is the biggest accomplishment and the proudest moment any principal would love to have. And I get to experience that every single day. So that is something I love about Battleground. I have three children here. They're going to take what they're excited about for next school year, 2023. And so this is Henry. And Henry, make sure you'll be in first grade. Second grade? Yeah. First grade. First grade. We arrived the first time. Henry, what are you excited about for next school year? Uh, I'm excited about new clubs. New clubs. Henry gets to pick his new clubs for his next year, and he's excited about that. Grant, you'll be in the fourth grade. What are you excited about for next year? Um, new field trips. Oh, new field trips in the fourth grade. And Emmanuel. Emmanuel will be in the fifth grade, so he will be a big fifth grader next year. What are you excited about? Finishing the school year and being accomplished and all the successes that we have. And so good job, boys. Thank you for listening to us. Catawba Springs, I'm proud of our staff for always being positive and working to challenge our students every day. And proud of our students for always giving it all and treating each other kind. And very proud of our parents for always working as a team with us to make Catawba Springs the best. In 2023, I am looking forward to spending more time with my friends, learning more in math, and doing more community service with my school. Hi, I'm Josh Henderson. And I'm Matt Hovis. And, and we are the APs at East Lincoln Middle School. And I'm William Hernandez, a seventh grade student at ELMS. As we wrap up 2022, I'm so proud of our staff and students here at East Lincoln Middle School as we were redesignated as a school to watch, thanks to our staff's dedication and willingness to try new instructional strategies. I am thankful for the community here at East Lincoln Middle School. Teachers and staff have repeatedly stepped up and they help each other and support each other in their daily activities at school. In 2023, I'm looking forward to meeting new people. Let's soar in 2023. Hey, good morning, Lincoln County Schools. I'm Murphy Post, Principal of Pumpkin Center, and I'm joined with Colby. Colby is our school spelling bee winner for this school year. In 2022, something I'm proud of for Pumpkin Center is the academic growth of our kids and the hard work of our teachers. We truly have the hardest working teachers around and we're really grateful for what they do to support all of our students. Colby, what are you looking forward to in the year 2023? The county spelling bee. 
the county spelling bee. Colby's going to represent Pumpkin Center well. On behalf of Colby and myself, I wanted to tell everybody, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and have a great new year. Wave. <laughs> At West Lincoln, we're thankful for all the community support from the canned food drive to the local churches and the PTSO supporting our staff and students this year. I'm excited to take my new CCP classes and learn all kinds of things. Go. Hi, I'm Zoe from Asbury Academy. I'm ready to go back to Lincoln High School and I'm ready to turn 16. On to you, Gregor. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark Gregor, Asbury Academy. There's so many things I'm proud of. I'm proud of all the staff that come here and work hard every day. I'm proud of the Asbury Resource Center, the ARC, that helps supply clothes for all the families in Lincoln County. I'm proud of the mentors and community and schools that come in and help our students on a daily basis. And most importantly, I'm proud of our students and our families. From GE Massey Elementary, I'm Mrs. Withrow, and this is my buddy King. What I'm proud of in 2022 is I'm proud of my staff and students for all the hard work they've put in. King, what are you looking forward to in 2023? I'm looking forward to passing my EOG and being a good friend. All right, happy holidays. I'm Kelly Sang, principal of SRA Louder, and I'm proud to be part of a school community that embodies our core values of kindness, hard work, cooperation, and respect. It is evident when you walk through our halls that our students understand the value of working diligently to make academic growth and doing their part to create a positive and inclusive classroom environment. They rise to these expectations because it is consistently modeled by our staff and families. At SRA Louder, I'm proud to say that every moment counts, every student matters, and every day is a new opportunity to make a difference. And this is fifth grader Maya Morrison, and I've chosen her to share what she is looking forward to in 2023, because the beautiful essay she wrote expressing her gratitude for our school. In 2023, I'm looking forward to my birthday. In 2023, I'll be 11. I am also looking forward to going into middle school. I think that sixth grade will be interesting. Something I am really looking forward to is doing the Star Study Science Project. This is Ms. Reynolds at PCPS, and I have Ms. Charlie Ann, one of our awesome second graders, with me today. I am so excited to say that all of our students are making so much growth and are doing so well these first two nine weeks, and we are so excited about what they're going to do in the next two nine weeks and on into 2023. Charlie Ann, what are you looking forward to in 2023? New puppy and graduating second grade, and she is going to rock it. Thanks, everybody. At West Lincoln Middle School, we've been proud this year to serve others as a school with our water thon to benefit both African and local communities and as individuals through our Rising Leaders program. These activities and opportunities enhance our continued focus on strong academics and preparing students for their futures. My name is Christian Hall and I'm looking forward to 2023. I'm excited to finish seventh grade starting eighth grade and having another great season as a West Lincoln wrestler. I'm so proud of our students and staff and the way that we've recovered from the COVID pandemic in 2022. I'm excited that we've been able to be very successful this start of the fall year in our sports programs. Our students are growing academically. We've added an esports team. We have added coffee with a counselor for our parents. We've had one successful parent night and we're looking forward to another one in the spring. Um, and I'm just excited to continue to see our students grow um, as the year progresses. I'm proud of being here in sixth grade. I'm proud of all what my teachers have taught me, and I'm excited for new teachers and new people in seventh grade. First and foremost, I want to talk about at Iron Station Elementary School what we're most thankful for, and that is our staff. They truly are very dedicated to our students here. And to talk about a few things that we're excited about and proud that we accomplished in 2022, we increased our community partnerships. We have some companies and organizations that have truly made a difference in the lives of our students here at Iron Station. And we got, we implemented clubs this year, so that was a new change to our schedule, and we were able to buy a large piece of playground equipment with the help of our people. PTO for our new playground and we're going to continue adding to that. What about you Elena? What are you excited for in 2023? I'm excited for going on a field trip 
um to what to what square and it's, what it is it's like in in like later times like the past and it's really cool because it looks like a village but it's in the past okay what else tell them what else you're excited for ebog competition um elementary battle of the books and i've read about six books and then the Zeusical, um, that's in May. May. Can you tell May a little 7th. bit about what Zeusical is? And Zeusical is many different books about Horton, um, different versions, um, and it's all of them by Dr. Seuss. Hi, I'm Ms. Castillo, and I'm a teacher here at St. James. This is one of my amazing students. Hi, I'm Brooklyn. One of the things I'm most proud of of our school this year is all of the teamwork. Every day when you walk through our halls, you see staff, teachers, and students all working together to do their very best. Brooklyn, what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to enhancing my reading skills and spending time with my family and having fun activities for this year.